Welcome. Today's practice is one of my favorite practices and it's known as the Polarity Series. And I love this series because it helps to bring balance to our, our whole system. And so um, the practice is gonna take place on the floor today. You might want to have a little blanket handy, um, especially if you'd like a little bit of cushioning beneath your head. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll begin by coming down onto our back. And the idea is to have just enough cushioning under your head so that your chin is not jutting up towards the ceiling, but the neck is still able to be in a neutral position. So you don't want the neck um, to be flexed so with the chin coming towards the chest. And as long as it's comfortable for your low back, go ahead and begin with the legs extended. If you're having any discomfort in the low back, then an alternative would be to bend the knees and separate the feet, then allow the knees to rest against one another so that the legs can still be fully relaxed. So we're gonna begin with Sukha Pranayama or easy breathing. And the idea is to use just, just enough effort to take nice, slow, deep inhalations and use a little effort to exhale fully, but without any strain. So we're gonna do this by counting the breaths. We want the inhalations and the exhalations to be the same length. So as long as it's comfortable for you, go ahead and close your eyes and just take a moment to feel the weight of your body against the floor and see if you can begin to just let go of your weight and to allow yourself to relax against the floor. And we'll begin Sukha Pranayama by exhaling. And then inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Continue breathing in for four counts. Count on your own and exhaling for four counts, just counting to yourself. And gently fill the lungs with your inhalation and empty with your exhalations. Continue to count your breaths. So as you continue this, um, you can count, um, you can make your count be longer if you need it to be or if you want it to be. You could also inhale for six counts and exhale for six counts if that feels better to you. And continue just a few more rounds of counting your breaths. Mm -hmm. 
After your next inhalation, just release the breath out and end the controlled breathing. So as we continue through the practice this morning, you can come back to counting your breaths and using Sukha Pranayama while you're doing the different asanas that we're going to do today. Um, if you choose to do that, then in between each practice, you should release all control of the breath and just let it flow naturally. But it can be helpful to count your breaths to yourself just to establish those steady um, rhythms so that your inhalations and exhalations are gently lengthened and um, so that they are the same length. So we're going to begin now with the pelvic tilt. We're going to bend the knees and place the feet hip width apart and parallel to one another. So the toes are pointing straight ahead. Arms rest down by your sides. And as you inhale, begin to tip the pelvis so that you're moving your pubic bone away from your navel and lengthening your belly. And then as you exhale, we're going to press the low back towards the floor as we shift the pelvis to draw the pubic bone towards the navel and engage the abdominal muscles. So inhaling, we release the low back from the floor and lengthen the belly. And exhaling, keeping the hips on the floor, we're just pressing the low back down and gently engaging the abdominal muscles. And continue this movement at your own pace. And as you continue, just check in and see if you can keep your neck relaxed, especially during your exhalations when you're engaging your abdominal muscles. So we're isolating the effort into the shifting of the pelvis and the relaxing and engaging of the abdominal muscles. Inhaling, lengthening the belly, exhaling, pressing the low back towards the floor. And this time we're going to add a head lift. So once the back comes down, we're going to lift the chin towards the chest. As you inhale, you'll lower your head, then release your low back from the floor and lengthen your belly. So exhaling, press the low back down. The abdominal muscles are engaged. Lift the head. As you inhale, lower the head and then release the low back and lengthen the belly. And repeat that just a few more times. Exhaling, pressing the low back down and lifting the head. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed down as your head is lifting. And let's do just one more. And after your next inhalation, relax. Remember to end the controlled breathing. You can extend the legs again and just take a moment to notice your sensations and to rest. Now lift the arms over the head, draw the feet together so the legs are extended. And once again, if you have some issues with your low back, you can modify this practice by doing it with the legs bent. Um, we're going to be doing an alternating leg lift. So if you have your legs bent, you would just lift, straighten one leg at a time 
while lifting. So extend the legs if that's comfortable. Begin by exhaling. As you inhale, lift your right leg and your left arm up towards vertical. And as you exhale, slowly lower them. And we're gonna alternate sides. Inhaling, lift the left leg and the right arm. And exhaling, slowly lower. And continue at your own pace. Again, just using a little effort to lengthen your inhalation and take slow, steady exhalations. So the idea is to have slow, steady movements, moving mindfully. You can gently extend through your heels and lengthen through the legs as you lift and lower them. If you'd like to count your breaths, you're welcome to do that. going to do one more set and we'll end after we've lowered the left leg. And when you finish, lower your arms to your sides. And once again, just take a moment to relax, to notice your physical sensations, and just allow the breath to flow naturally. And now bend the knees and we're going to reach the arms out to the side so that the hands are at shoulder height. And if your low back is feeling strong, you can lift the feet, bending the knees in towards the chest. If it's feeling a little sensitive, then go ahead and keep your feet on the floor. So we're going to do alternating twists to each side. We're gonna begin here at the center by inhaling. And then as you exhale, we're gonna lower the knees to the right as we turn the head and look towards the left and try to keep that left shoulder pinned towards the floor. Inhaling, come back to the center and alternate sides. So exhaling, lower the legs to the left and look to the right. Inhaling, come back to the center and continue. So once again, just slow, steady movements. Synchronize your movements with your breathing. We're exhaling into the twist and then inhaling as we come back to the center. Ideally, we want to breathe in and out through the nose as we practice. And the practice can be done with your eyes opened or with your eyes closed. I often like to close my eyes because it helps me 
to notice my physical sensations more as I practice. So we're going to do one more set. And then we're going to end after we've completed lowering the legs to the left and then have come back to the center. Lower your feet to the floor. And again, just take a moment, notice your sensations, allow your breathing to flow naturally. This is a, a very grounding and relaxing sequence, um, but people are often surprised afterwards by um, realizing that it's actually a pretty good workout as well. So now we're gonna do a double leg lift. And for this one, we want to place the hands beneath the hips. So I usually like to just have my hands flat and kind of in this position so that I'm sort of cupping around my sacrum, which your sacrum sits in the back of your pelvis. Um, you can also make, you can also have the arm straight and just make a loose fist to give yourself a little more um, height if that feels better. So either of those positions is fine. We're going to extend the legs if it's comfortable for your low back. And again, you can modify this by um, doing the practice with the knees bent some. So it's really important that we are using our abdominal muscles to support and stabilize our low back while we're doing the double leg lifts. So um, you really wanna bring a lot of attention into the abdomen and into the position of the pelvis. So just like when we did the, pel the pelvic tilt earlier, we want to um, in shift the pelvis a little as if you're trying to draw your pubic bone towards your navel and that presses the low back downward. And we wanna keep that action of the pelvis as we lift and lower the legs. So we're gonna begin with an inhalation, lifting both legs up towards the ceiling. You can extend through your heels. And then as you exhale, keeping your low back pressing towards the floor, slowly lower. And you can either lower all the way down and rest for a moment in between, or you can stop just before your feet reach the floor and continue from there. So inhaling, slowly lift both legs and exhale, slowly lowering. And keep it going at your own pace. So slow, steady breaths. And you might find that you shake a little. That's okay, it's completely normal. As you're using your abdominal muscles to support your low back. You might even feel um, that you're generating a bit of heat now. We're going to do one more. And when you finish, you can bend your knees, release your hands from beneath you. 
Find a comfortable resting position. Just let the breath flow naturally. Notice your sensations. Notice how you feel. So from here, we're going to roll over onto our side and then over onto our abdomen. And I like to use a little bit of um, a blanket beneath my forehead. <clears throat> I'm often practicing with my glasses on. And so having that blanket under the forehead um, gives a little extra clearance, but it also gives a little extra clearance for the nose. <clears throat> so for this next one, we're going to just do a simple um, lift with the head and the chest. And um, it's not cobra, so we're not using the hands to support us here. We're going to rest with the arms down by our sides. So bringing your forehead to the floor, arms down by your sides, palms facing down towards the floor, forehead to the floor. And as you inhale, you're just going to lift the head and the chest and the shoulders. And as you exhale, slowly release. And inhale, slowly lifting. We want to extend through the top of the head so we're not cranking the head backwards really far. We're still lengthening through the neck as we lift. And then exhaling, slowly lower. Keep it going just a few more times at your own pace. Slow, steady movements. Once again, just synchronizing your movement with your breathing. And the next time that you come down, turn your head to the side, relax your arms, relax your legs. If you'd like to, you can use your hands as a pillow. And just take a moment here to rest. And then allow your breathing just to return to its natural rhythm. And then placing your hands beneath your shoulders, we're going to press up onto our hands and knees. From here, we're going to come down onto the forearms. We're going to clasp the hands and interlace the fingers. We're going to bring the elbows beneath the shoulders. And from here, we're going to be working with um, a forearm plank. So we're going to take one leg back. We'll start with the right. So we're going back through the right leg, back through the left leg. And then we want to lower the hips to try to create a nice diagonal line with the body. And we're going to breathe. You might find that you start to shake a little bit. That's okay. You'll feel your core really working here. We're lifting the belly towards the spine. And then you can lower your knees. Take a moment to sit back towards your heels. Rest your forehead on the floor and just take a short break. And now come back up to your hands and knees or to your forearms and knees. 
clasp the hands. We're going to be repeating that. So we want the elbows to be beneath the shoulders. We're going to take one foot back and then the other. We're going to lower the hips, tuck the tailbone under, press down through the arms, but then melt your heart a little bit towards your chest or towards the floor rather. Reach through the heels, lift the belly towards the spine and see it's already hard for me to talk <laughs> because it's a lot of work to be here. Breathe. And lower your knees. Take it back to child's pose, resting your forehead on the floor and relax. And we're gonna repeat that again. So interlace the hands, elbows beneath the shoulders. Take one leg back and then the other. Lower the hips. Press down through the arms, but melt the heart. Lift the belly towards the spine. And then try shifting the heels forward and back. And do that a few times. Lower your knees to the floor, sit back towards your heels, and rest. So we're going to come all the way back down onto our bellies. And for this one, we're going to take the arms over the head. If you have um, issues with your shoulders, so if you've had rotator cuff problems or you get a lot of pinching in your shoulders, you could, as an alternative, take your arms out to the sides or down by your sides. So um, if it hurts to have your arms over your head, don't do that. So for this next one, with each inhalation, we're gonna lift the head, the chest, the arms, and the legs. So we're gonna just lift everything up towards the ceiling, and then as we exhale, we're gonna slowly release down. And the idea is to try to keep your arms in line with your ears. And we're gonna keep the chin tucked slightly so that we're extending out through the top of the head and lengthening the neck as we do this. So begin with the forehead down. And as you inhale, lift everything up. And as you exhale, slowly release. And then just keep that going. Inhaling, lifting. Exhaling, releasing. And keep it going. Inhale, lift everything up. Keep your chin tucked slightly towards your throat. Exhale, release. And this time when you come up, try holding the pose. Breathe as you hold. Squeezing, 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 lifting everything up. And then Release it down, turn your head to the side, use your hands as a little pillow, and relax.
Then bring your hands beneath your shoulders. Press yourself back up to your hands and knees. We're gonna sit back towards the heels. Rest the forehead on the floor. Once again, just coming into child's pose. So from here, we're gonna reach forward through the arms. So the arms are extending straight. Fingers spread wide apart in preparation for downward dog. We're gonna come up to our hands and knees. And from here, turn the toes under, lift the knees, press through the arms so that your chest is shifting towards your legs. Relax the neck. Reach through the legs. Breathe. And we're going to do a variation of downward dog that's known as mountain action. So as you inhale, you're going to lift the head to look between the hands and press the heels gently towards the floor. As you exhale, we're going to lift the heels and bring the chin towards the chest. Inhaling, look between the hands, drop the heels. Exhale, lift the heels, chin towards your chest. Keep it going. So the idea is to try to not shift through the shoulders as you do this. So we're keeping that steady action of pressing through the arms. And just two more breaths. Inhaling, looking between the hands, heels come down. Exhale, heels lift. And then inhaling, look forward. Exhale, lower your knees. Sit back towards your heels. You can separate the knees. Rest your forehead on the floor. Turn your attention inward. Notice your sensations and just allow your breathing to return to normal. And now lifting the head, we're gonna come down onto our left side in preparation for a side leg lift. So for this one, you can use your left arm as a pillow. You can bend your left knee and we're gonna extend the right leg. And the idea is to align the leg so that if you were standing, the front of your hip would be flat, that you would be, if you were standing on your right leg, <clears throat> that you would be standing straight. So we want the toes pointing straight ahead. And as you inhale, you're just gonna slowly lift, leading a little bit with the heels. So the toes continue to point straight ahead. We're not rotating the toes up towards the ceiling. And then exhaling, we'll slowly lower and keep that going. Inhaling, lifting. And exhaling, lowering. Just slow, steady breaths. Once again, synchronize the movements with your breathing.
Inhaling, lifting the leg, toes pointing straight ahead. Exhaling, slowly lowering. We'll do one more. And when you finish, go ahead and roll over onto your right side. And I'm gonna just switch directions so that I'm still facing you, but you can just simply roll over. And again, we're gonna just support the head with the right arm. You can bend your right knee for stability and we're gonna extend the left leg. Left hand can rest on the floor. As you inhale, keep the toes pointing straight ahead. Exhale, slowly lowering. And you might just check so that, make sure that your foot isn't creeping out in front of you. So again, we wanna keep the front of the hip nice and flat. And you might even put your hand there just to check it out. And then you can rest your left hand back on the floor. Let the movements be synchronized with the breath. Still using a little effort to lengthen your inhalations and to exhale fully. I'm gonna do one more. And when you finish, roll over onto your back. So from here, we're going to um, rest the arms out to the sides. So the hands are once again at shoulder height. We're going to extend the legs if it's comfortable for your low back. So take a moment, just check in. If you're feeling some pinching or some pressure in the low back, then go ahead and bend your knees and place your feet on the floor instead. So we're gonna be doing an alternating twist here. And <clears throat> we're gonna begin with the right side. So as you inhale, we're gonna just draw the right knee in towards the chest. As you exhale, we're gonna roll onto the left hip, bringing the right knee towards the floor as you turn the head and look to the right. Inhaling, come back to the center, and exhaling, lower your leg. Inhale, lift the left knee towards the chest. As you exhale, come on to the right hip, bringing the left knee towards the floor. Look to the left. You can gently draw your left shoulder back towards the floor. Inhale to the center and exhale, releasing, lowering that left leg back down. Continue to alternate sides. Inhale, bringing your knee towards your chest. Exhale into the twist. Look to the right as you lower your knee to the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale, lowering your right leg to the floor. Left side, inhale. Draw your knee towards your chest. Exhale into the twist. Look to the left. Inhale back to center. And exhale, slowly releasing. 
And just repeat a few more times on your own. Synchronize the movement with your breathing. And if you lose track of when you think you should inhale and when to exhale, just do what feels good and don't worry about it. So if it's comfortable, you might take a moment to do a round or two with your eyes closed. Turning your attention inward, really notice your physical sensations. Let's do one more set. So we'll be finishing after we have um, lifted the left leg and twisted. And then end after you lower your left leg. Bring your arms by your sides. Release any control of your breathing. Just notice the natural rising and falling of the breath. And then bend your knees and place your feet hip width apart and parallel to one another so your toes are pointing straight ahead. The feet are separated just so that the outer edges of your feet are just in line with the outer edges of your hips. So you could bring your hands down by your sides to feel that. We want the toes to be pointing straight ahead so the feet aren't turned out or in. <clears throat> So we're going to come into bridge pose and if you have a blanket under your head, you might want to go ahead and just fold that up out of the way Oops. and just allow your head to be on your mat so that um, you don't get too much flexion in the neck once we come up into bridge. So we're going to begin here coming back to the pelvic tilt so that we're pressing our low back against the floor and shifting the pelvis to move the pubic bone towards the navel. And then from here, we're gonna to begin to lift the hips up towards the ceiling. And as you do, activate your inner thighs and your inner shins so that your knees don't splay out to the sides. So we wanna keep the knees directly over the ankles. And there's just this gentle hugging inward through the feet, through the shins, through the thighs. And as the hips come up, go ahead and roll your shoulders under so that it takes all the pressure out of the back of your neck. If you'd like to, you can interlace your hands beneath you, <clears throat> excuse me, or you can just keep the hands separated but pressing down against the floor. And then we're gonna come back to tipping the pelvis so that the pubic bone is moving towards the navel. We're gonna soften the eyes, soften the jaws, and breathe as you hold here. So we're continuing to gently hug inward with the legs, feeling the inner legs engage. Lifting the hips, tipping the pelvis. 
And then when you're ready to release, we're just gonna release the shoulders down and slowly begin to roll down from the top of the spine, down towards the hips. Imagine that you're lowering down one vertebrae at a time. So coming down slowly. And once the hips come down, bring the hands together in front of you and we're gonna lift the head and chest, bringing the chin towards the chest, reaching forward. We're just gonna hold here for a moment. Relax your shoulders. Breathe as you hold. And then inhale, lowering the head back to the floor. And you could um, bring your blanket back so that you can put that beneath your head. We're gonna draw the knees in towards the chest and just wrap the arms loosely around the legs and rock a little bit from side to side. And just allow your neck to relax. Place your hands on top of your knees, bringing your knees together. And we're just gonna guide the knees around in circles so that we're massaging the area around our sacrum into the floor. So the knees are moving together. And reverse your circles. Take a moment just to hug your knees in towards your chest. You might want to lift your chin towards your chest for a moment if that feels okay for your neck. Keep the shoulders relaxing down. Lower the head to the floor. Release the legs. And come into Shavasana or the corpse pose. So go ahead and extend the legs if that's comfortable for you. And just like in the beginning, if it's not, the alternative would be to bend the knees with the feet separated about hip width apart and allow the knees to rest against one another. So we're going to be ending our practice today with a practice called Anuloma Veloma Kriya. It's another polarity practice. And again, it's just to help balance um, our body and to balance our energetic body. So allow the eyes to close. Feel the weight of your body resting against the floor. Notice the natural rising and falling of the breath. We're going to come back to the easy breathing. So inhaling for four counts. One, two, three, four, and exhaling. One, two, three, four. 
Continue counting your breaths on your own. And if you have <clears throat> a natural pause at the top of your inhalation and the bottom of your exhalation, that's okay. You don't have to try to make that happen, but if you find that it starts to happen, that's just fine. So inhaling for four counts and exhaling for four counts. And then we'll begin Anuloma Viloma Kriya. So as you inhale, imagine warm, golden prana or energy like sunlight entering in through the top of your head, moving all the way down your body and out through your feet. And with your exhalations, Imagine drawing cool, silvery, uponic, moonlight energy up through the feet, all the way through the body, and exiting out through the head. So we're inhaling that warm, golden sunlight prana it's coming in through the top of the head, moving down the body and out the feet. Exhaling the cool, silvery, moonlight energy, entering in through the bottoms of the feet, drawing all the way up through the body and exiting out through the head. And just continue on your own, inhaling warm golden energy that moves in through the head and down the body, out the feet. Exhaling cool silvery energy that you draw in through the feet, up the body and out the head. Continue on your own. And just do your best to visualize that energy moving through the length of your body. And if you find in the beginning that it's difficult to actually follow that energy all the way through the body, it's okay. And just keep working with it. Visualizing warm golden sunlight, pranic energy, sweeping down through the body as you inhale and that cool, silvery, uponic energy moving from the feet all the way up through the body and out the head as you exhale. So in both cases, the energy starts outside of the body and moves through it and exits. And after your next inhalation, just relax the breath out, end the visualization, and end the controlled breathing. And just take a moment to feel the weight of your body 
consciously relaxing, noticing your sensations. And slowly start to move your fingers and toes to begin to reawaken the body. You can allow that movement to spread. And then when you're ready, roll over onto your side and keeping your neck relaxed, use your hands to help yourself up to a seated position. Thank you all for joining me today, and I'll see you next time. Namaste.